So Iron got sold in Player to Carmen. Actually, no, rented. Pimped out, pimped out, that's the best way to say it. And today I'm gonna explain everything, how it happened, so you can learn and hopefully it doesn't happen to you either. So tourism is pretty high here in Quintana Roo. You got uh, hotels, you got swinger hotels, hotels where people can go swing and basically come here to hook up. And it's very huge for the straight community. You actually would think it would be more of a gay thing. You know, they'd be hoes, right? But here, there's like all straight people coming here to these hotels to meet other couples and to swing and switch partners. We have so many people from overseas escorting themselves in play departments to make some cash flow before they head to America or they're staying there within Mexico, basically selling themselves to make their stream of income, etc. So it's no surprise that Play the Carmen has a very big industry for that, depending what season it is. So let me tell you how I met this guy. So, so when I was living in Mexico for four years, by the end of the two years while I was there, I met someone that was at my gym. He wanted to make money online and stuff, so I was teaching him how and how I can help him, etc. Obviously, a business agreement, we both win, etc. Now, he was telling me he side hustles as he's a massager, right? But he gives his clients happy ending. 99% of his clients are men, but he would never kiss them, never them, and never get, all he will do is receive a good time down there and he might use his hands on them. You know what I mean, I have to speak in code, unfortunately, for YouTube. That's all he would do because he's not into guys. He's a straight man. And I know some of you is gonna turn around and go, that's lies, Martin, because he's letting a man play with his magic stick down there. I don't know if you guys heard of the magic pill. Basically, it's a pill that can make anything get excited with a little touch. And that's what he would use to keep excited for his clients. Because obviously if he was into guys, he would also do everything else. Everything else would be easy for him, including kissing. And on top of that, he had a girlfriend, and I just know that he's a straight man. I know you guys may disagree me, but there's a difference for being gay for pay. It's just obvious to me that this is a straight man and he's not into dudes at all. Anyway, I end up traveling for 12 months, which you guys have been seeing on my channel, places I've been traveling to, etc. And around this time, I'm in play to come for two months, waiting for my flight to Thailand. So I seen him online and go, hey man, do you still want to make money online, etc. And um, he said he was, but he didn't want help, which is fine. It's going to be a lot more harder for him, but I wasn't pressed about it. Just see if he wanted to go forward, seeing how he was, etc. So while I was there, I noticed that he was tapping up my profile, like trying to get my attention. And I was like, that's really weird. Like he's been tapping me a lot recently. Like, why is he doing that? I was like, he trying to get me to do a massage. I really wanted to know how he does it and stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to act like I'm interested. So I messaged him in the morning. I was like, because he was tapping or whatever. I'm like, hey man, how you been? What you been doing? He's like, oh, nothing much. I just woke up. I'm really, you know, explaining that he was excited. I'm like, oh, okay, so this is his fishy, his little bait that he threw at me. How dare he? I was like, oh, really? Okay, show me. I wanted to see how far he's going to go. <laughs> and he goes, okay, you show me first. He's like, let me see you first. I was like, that's interesting. So I send him a pic, not mine. So I go on the internet, get a pic and send it to him. No face, no case. So he ends up sending me a picture back plot twist it wasn't his either and i was like this is so funny because his legs are like muscly as hell i know it wasn't him so i'm playing along to see like how's he gonna reel me in so he's like oh what do you want to do i'm like what do you want to do and he basically is like i would really love to have fun with you and this guy and he sends me a photo of this overweight man in the beach this guy definitely is not society standards of beauty okay not the guy who does massages, the guy that he showed me a picture of. So I'm just like, like things that wasn't adding up because he told me that it was his boyfriend. And I know he's straight. Like I know he had a girlfriend for like three years or two years 
And I just, it, it just, it was really weird at this point. I'm like, I really thought he was just going to try to get a massage from me, but he wants me to meet up with him and this guy. So this is when it gets interesting, right? So that's the picture of what he sent me before. He sent me a picture of that guy. And this guy is a top, which is a man that does the, the penetration, right? So I'm just like... I told him, oh, that's so weird, I thought you were straight. He goes, oh, I'm bi. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. And I just, looking at him and looking at this guy, I'm just like, there is, yes, sometimes there are those people that date men that are not really attractive and they are really attractive, you know what I mean? But they find interest in that person. Just because it's not society's standard of beauty doesn't mean it's not your standard of beauty, you know what I mean? But I just know that wouldn't be his standard of beauty, but that's me making an assumption, right? But this is when I got him. So I go, how much is he paying for you to be with him? Because something wasn't adding up and I'm thinking, is he even your boyfriend? Like, it just wasn't making sense because I know he just doesn't swing right way, okay? Just, I know a lot, some people be like, well, man, 12 months is a long time. A lot of things can change. I, I'm sorry. I just don't believe it. So he started gaslighting me, telling me that we shouldn't have this conversation. Why can't we have this conversation? It's just weird the way he reacted. He's like, why would you ask me something like that? I'm like, we know each other. We're cool. He's like, I don't know you like that. I'm like, are you serious? You don't know me like that to have that conversation, but you know me enough to go to your place with your boyfriend to have fun with you. Like, come on, let's be real here, right? And he gaslights me and then he blocks because he said it was so inappropriate to ask him such a question. I'm like, I'm just curious, man. I was cool and calm and collected about it. I'm just cu curious, man. That's all. Then it hit me. I remember how he told me he doesn't do certain things with the guy. And I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He trying to, he, this guy is paying him. He's trying to drag me into it so he can get me to do the things that he doesn't want to do. He's thinking I'm going to do that and he's going to pocket the money. He's going to basically lie, rent me out, pimp me out, and he's going to walk away with the check because he pretended it was his boyfriend. And that isn't the only time that this has happened. There have been people, younger people, with an older partner saying, Hey, would you like to have a, a three-way with me and my partner? And you just be shocked because their partner is just like... In my head, I'm thinking, oh, okay, he's not satisfying you, so you need to approach me because your man's not satisfying you and he's cool with you having fun on the side. When in reality, sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, there's, you know, there's not enough research and statistics on this, but sometimes it's because a man hires a woman and that man likes that type of thing or likes to watch her get done or he wants to try to make a move on you etc so they're going to do all that to try to get you in a three-way also with the man the woman's going to take all the profits and you think you're just having a good time or the man and you think you're just having a good time with a couple when re in reality they're not even a couple that girl just pimped you out and you didn't even know so I'm not angry at all. A part of me still kind of want to backhand him. But I think it's so important to let you guys know that because a lot of men are coming to play at the Carmen. They're having fun, getting lit, and they meet a beautiful woman. They meet a handsome guy, and they're like, oh yeah, me and my partner, we're looking for someone. And in reality, it's not their partner. It's... So it's their client and they're pimping you out <laughs> and you don't even know. Let me know in the comment section below if this has ever happened to you. I'm definitely thinking about all the people who have come up to me asking me for a three-way and I see that their partner is just really not the society standard of beauty and it's just funny how there's a lot of them. So I'm starting to think that a lot of them are pimping, trying to pimp me out.